I'm a Clay Thompson dude. Clay Thompson is one of the greatest shooters the game has ever seen. Mm. I think arguably top three all time. Clay Thompson in his entire career has never shot in less than 40% from three point range, just like Steph in the season. I'm not talking about the five games Steph played during the lockout season. I'm talking about full season. The brothers never shot less than 40% from three point range until this year. Clay Thompson came back this year, obviously was struggling to get his groove back, got his groove back a little bit, has had some explosive games, particularly the closeout game is the latest example when they beat the Memphis Grizzlies in six games and he dropped 30. Klay Thompson shot 36% from three-point range that series, which is not shabby. This series against the Mavericks, he's shooting 27% from three-point range. That's not going to cut it when you talk about going up against Boston or Miami. The one thing that we need to say about both Boston and Miami is that if you're the Golden State Warriors, you need to bring your A game to beat them. You ain't going to beat them with your, big, with your B game because they're going to get physical. They're going to get up in you and they're going to do whatever they can to, to, to try and neutralize you. Because you got to remember, when we look at Jason Tatum, he's 6'9". When we look at Jalen Brown, he's 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, you know, you look at Al Horford, he's 6'10". You look at Robert Williams, he's about 6'10". Marcus Smart is a pit bull. We get all of that. Golden State Warriors is a finesse team. Looney, great game the other night, no doubt about it. Andrew Wiggins got some length on them. Klay Thompson, 6'7". Steph Curry, 6'3". Jordan Poole, like 6'3", 6'4", et cetera. Memphis showed you can get a little physical with them and toward them a little bit. And when I look at it from that perspective, I'm saying the Golden State Warriors that I expect to win the championship is a Golden State Warriors that's going to be making perimeter shots because here's the thing that everybody needs to remember. The Dallas Mavericks ain't Miami or Boston. They have nothing on their front court defensively. They have no rim protection. They have no shot blockers. That's not a problem with Miami and Boston, especially Boston. Because both Horford and Williams can do that for you. And so, and to me, if you're the Golden State Warriors, in order to beat them, you got to scorch them from the outside and obviously pushing the ball up the court and exploiting them on fast breaks in the open court. That's going to be your two best ingredients in order for you to be able to beat them. Dallas is not the appropriate litmus test. And that comes with being able to hit shots. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.